Hey everyone, you ever wonder how to conquer your worst fear? Well, we met someone who has the answer. I'm Pinchas Taylor, and this is Taylor Talks. For this week's video, we met Dustin Crum, also known as the Wild Man. Dustin's been featured on the History Channel and the Discovery Channel for various things that he's been doing. He came to our attention when a video of him went viral all over social media. Why did it go viral? Because he caught a 17-foot python with his bare hands and bare feet. I got the head and brought this monster out of the swamp. That's how we do it, son. When Dustin's not hunting monster pythons in the Florida Everglades, he's maintaining his orchid shop in Venice, Florida. We took a trip to Venice, Florida and had the opportunity to sit down with Dusty and have a little interview. So, without further ado, let's meet Dustin Crum, Python slayer by night, orchid salesman by day, the wild man. So Dusty, you're, you're here half the time, you live down uh, in, in the southern Everglades part of the time. Tell, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, uh, my name's Dusty Crum. I'm the wild man, and uh, one of my jobs is uh, I hunt down and eradicate invasive pythons out of our ecosystem, and uh, they're really doing a lot of damage down there, so I feel like it's, it's my duty and my part to go down there and try to lend a helping hand. When you're starting off and you're catching the big snakes, so what goes through a person's mind like that very first time that they're catching this humongous snake? Well, it was kind of funny, I guess. The first the first one I caught, I, I was with a buddy of mine, and I was actually videoing it. And I'm like, I video the whole thing and stuff. And so we get up there close to it, and we're kind of looking at each other. He's like, you want to grab it? Let me video. Let me video. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I said, just grab it. I got the camera, you know. So he grabs it, pulls it up, and uh, I'm just videoing. I got this camera shoved right in the snake's face, and it's in it so like well see how big it is like what do we do now so i actually took my jacket off and threw it a sweatshirt threw it over his head and he would strike the thing i could get my buddy uh stepped on his head and got got control of the snake and that was the first one and you know ever since then it's like okay i know what how they're going to react and I just can catch them barehanded. You wait, you know, till the snake strikes a couple of times, you see the angle, and once you commit to grab the head, you just commit. There's no second guessing. It's, okay, this is what's happening. I'm grabbing the head, and the snake, a lot of times, will open its mouth, will try to turn and, and bite and stuff. Were you ever scared? Well, you know, I'll tell you the truth on the big snake, the 1610, you know, a lot of people, they saw the video I, uh, my buddy captured live, and they said, well, it looks maybe staged, you know, you didn't have much excitement and everything. And I said, well, you know what, because when I saw the mass of that snake, I seen how big it was. I would, the adrenaline was gone out of my body and I was just really, really nervous and anxious and I didn't quite know what was going to happen. But I feel like I'm just, you know, one of, another one of God's creations. I'm part of the earth and there's nothing that's going to be put in front of me that I'm not going to be able to handle. So... You know, I'm, I'm confident with my skills with the big snakes, and I was able to take a, a miss his strikes a couple of times and able to see opportunity and pounce on the head and was able to get, you know, wrestle the big snake uh, and, and get it. I think that, I mean, that's a really, that's a pretty interesting life lesson that, like, whenever you do get scared or feel like that, you know, there's something in your way, you just realize that you're part of God's world and to keep moving forward and that's what, that's what gets you through it. Right, exactly. It's just, I, you know, I think that, uh, yeah, we're, you know, rulers of the beast. We're rulers of, of the animal kingdom. And, and if it's my time and if it's something that, you know, I slip up and make a mistake, then, you know, that's on me. But I feel, you know, I'm protected and I'm, I'm doing the right thing. By trying to help the environment and the other animals, I'm not doing it for sport or for trophy hunting. It's it's just a duty, you know, that I'm here serving on the earth. Nice, noble. Also, were you ever bit by a snake? Oh during? yeah, many times. Really? Yeah. There are they? Po are they? Poisonous no, they're not poisonous, but the venom, not the, the the teeth face backwards. So when they bite you, they kind of hook on. So it's they're difficult. Once they bite, they want to start throwing loops and throwing those coils. They start constricting, and they'll kind of wrap them tails around themselves, oh and they'll be able to squeeze every, 
you know, they're really, they can really squeeze you. Well, I don't, I don't know that it's really a sport for me. Yeah, they're well. constricted. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. And so you, you've, you've made quite a name for yourself also. I see, you know, you've been on a bunch of cable networks. Can you tell us a little bit about your, uh, your scene in Hollywood? Let's, uh... Right. Well, you know, I guess, I guess everybody wants to see how the wild man that comes out and catches the snakes and I mean, do it barefoot and... I kind of got the image, the rough image a little bit, you know, but I feel kind of, I'm like a pop tart. I got a rough exterior, I'm soft in the middle, it's, you know, and I've caught a lot of people's attention and, and they want to come down and do, you know, production shows. I've done a lot of things, uh, History Channel, Swamp People, the uh, Discovery Channel show, it's going to be on next month, uh, a couple other shows coming this summer. and currently working on pitching my own series so we're just kind of waiting on some feedback and kind of go forward with it but uh, I'm having fun with it and have fun entertaining I'm trying to you know educate people about this issue and educate uh, you know the dangers of if we don't go and actually try to do something about this and slow the spread of these snakes they're spreading in every direction it's it's kind of a scary thing for Florida you know South Florida Central Florida and you know, they're, the snake's territory could expand all the way into Georgia. I mean, mm. if, and the, the reproduction rate that the, that the snakes uh, have, you know, it's, it's hard for us to keep up with that. The, the big 16-foot 10 snake that I caught had 73 eggs in it that were getting ready to hatch. Oh, wow. Are, are there other methods besides hiring individuals that they can use to, you know, sort of They've, the the growth. they've tried, you know, a uh, number of different methods, and uh, they last uh, a few months ago they had a couple guys from India. These are Rula, they're cobra trackers, okay, they're cobra hunters from India. They brought them over, and they were catching some snakes. And I ran into the guys and hunted with them a day or two, and you know they're good guys and stuff. But it's really nothing has been as effective as this current program we're in because we've got the elite python hunters we all know what we're doing and we're able to produce snakes well dusty you, you're you're doing a lot of good work you're, you're saving the everglades and uh, i wish you a lot of good luck with all of the all the good stuff you're doing all the all the networking and all, all of the the tv appearances hope i hope things continue going well for you thanks very much awesome good to meet you you too brother Dustin is such a nice guy. Did you ever fear that you conquered? Let us know in the comments below. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend.